often referred to as its code, the Berryman script. The Buried Alive model was to be found on the final story of Pokemon Tower, in what has now been replaced with Marowak's ghost. According to the scripts assigned to it, the Buried Alive model was intended to be the boss of the tower. Once reaching the top floor, the following conversations would have taken place. You're here. I'm trapped. And I'm lonely. So very lonely. Won't you join me? After this, the battle would have been initiated. Once in battle view, the Buried Alive model appears to be a decaying human corpse attempting to crawl out of the ground. It has been programmed to have two white hands, a Gengar and a Muck. Strangely enough, a protocol for the Buried Alive's actions after it was defeated were not written. In case of the player defeating him, the game would freeze. However, a specific ending was written by an unknown programmer upon losing the battle. In this ending, the Buried Alive was to have stated, Finally, fresh meat. Followed by several lines of gibberish. He was to have then dragged the player's character into the ground surrounding him. The scene would finish with a typical game over screen. However, in the background, an image of the buried alive character devouring the player was to have been shown. Especially strange are the protocols for after this scene. The cartridge was to download this image to be the small internal memory contained in the Game Boy, overwriting the title screen that would normally accompany a Game Boy turning on. Instead, whenever it was started, the player would view this image as the sound file static mesh dot will have played. The intended purpose of this effect, unlike many of the other factors leading towards Lightning Town Syndrome, is unknown. <laughs>